Hi, this is Trevor with Anco Equipment, and today we're going to talk about the leak detect valve for your batch pasteurizer. So over here we have an example of a batch uh, pasteurizer leak detect valve. Um, when you get this, you will see it has a nut and a washer right on the bottom here. Simply take these off. You will notice that your batch pasteurizer uh, plug leak detect valve here has a little paper on it. You just take that off and that's for protection so none of the plug is uh, scratched or dented. It also has a gasket and some petrogel lubrication. Over here I already have a valve lubricated up for us. So we have the plug, the lubrication, the wing nut, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that the valve is properly lubricated all around and also into the valve body. We want to make sure that it's um, lubricated up in there as well as behind the valve. This way we prevent any kind of leaks and it helps seal the valve to the tank. When we put the uh, plug into the valve body, we gently put it in there and we can notice with the lubrication that we can go from the closed position to the open position very easily. If we don't have the lubrication in the valve properly, the stainless plug and valve body will grind and that will cause scratching. And we don't want that on the plug. Also, <clears throat> when you take the plug out of your leak detect valve, be very careful with it in terms of cleaning around here. Um, again, any kind of scratches and um, we might have to either replace it or uh, refurbish it to get it properly back to where it needs to be. And that is the proper maintenance of a leak detect valve on your batch pasteurizers.